We have deployed both of our applications to Tomcat Web Application Manager and it's time to try how they work together. And I will bring up my Postman. And here I have HTTP request that is pointing to password reset request. And it is this time when user opens up your mobile application or a web app and they decide to reset a password. And to do that, they input email address, the email address that they can go and check actually. It cannot be a blah 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 email address that does not exist. So they need to input their real email address and tap on a button to send a password reset request. So I'll do that. This is public web service endpoint. It doesn't need any authentication, any access token to be provided, just the uh, headers that will specify that the content type of HTTP request body is JSON and that's it. So I'm going to send this HTTP POST request. I'll scroll down to see results. So the operation status is success and operation name is request password reset. So everything is good. Uh, I should have received an email message. Let me drag in the email client. Here it is. So it's 6.38 now and it just came 6.37. So let me open up this email message and it says a request to reset your password. Hi Sergey, uh, someone has requested to reset your password uh, with our project. If it were not you, please ignore it. Otherwise, please click on the link below to set a new password. And here we have a link. I'll click it and this link should have a token attached. Yes, yeah, so this is the token, I can see it. And we now need to provide a new password. So I'll type one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, let me type again, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll also open developer panel here and I will bring up my web inspector. Here we go, so I'll switch to network and I will select the password reset. Now let me switch to resources and I'll select the password reset. And here's my source code of the page. We have debugged it earlier. So I will put uh, two breakpoints inside of the success and inside of the error, just to see if everything is okay, because I know that the rest of the code is working well. So uh, let's send this request. And we have a breakpoint inside of the failure. Why? Uh, let's move mouse over the response object and check it. So the operation name is password reset and the operation result is success. Oh, right. The, uh, the key in the response object is operation result. And here I check for result, not the operation result. So this is why we got an error but the actual response we can see that the actual response was uh, success so uh, let me uh, resume debugging and what i can also do i can also switch to network and inside of the network i can go to password reset and here i have i can expand the request tab and look at the request body here which is a json uh, payload and then i can look at the headers we have the request, the status, and here a little more details about the request, the content type, the origin, and the post URL, and we have a response. And to look at the response in more details, I'll switch to preview. And from the drop down menu here, I will choose response. And this is the response that we have received. So the response is successful. All we need to do is to go and fix this issue. Operation result instead of result. So I'll go to my Sprint Tool Suite. And then I'll go to Verification Service. And I'll go to Password Reset. And I will update my JavaScript to check Operation Result instead of the result. So let me save this project and redeploy it now. And to do that, I'll switch to my browser and then I will open up Apache Tomcat and I will undeploy the verification service. Application is undeployed. I'll now switch to my terminal window and this is my project verification. So I can list files here. I will do MVN install to rebuild it. Okay, and I will now go back to my browser and I will deploy this application again. So I'll choose the file and choose the project. 
verification service target verification service choose and deploy okay so application is deployed and what i need now to do is i need to switch back to postman and i need to send a new request for password reset and this is because the token has been used up the response from the server side shows us that it was successfully used it's just an error took place in javascript and because it was successfully used it will be deleted from the database and we cannot use it again so i'll need to send a new request so i'll send it I'll scroll down it was successfully sent let me switch to my email client and go to the browser delete this one refresh here's the new email I'll click on it again. Let me close the old window. I don't need it anymore. Click on the link. And here it is. So I'll input a new password. And I will open up Developer tab. Show Web Inspector. Switch to Resources. Select Password Reset. And put the two breakpoints inside of Success and inside of the Error. And let's send it again. And here we go. Now we have operation result is successful. And let me resume debugging. And we have a message that your password is now updated, which is good. Let me go to network and select the request. And I have a successful response from the server. So the password is now reset. I can attempt to use it and log in. The password that I have typed is 12345. So I'll switch back to Postman and now I will open up a new uh, tab to log in. Here it is, the local host 8080. I'll need to provide the application context. Uh, users log in and I will switch to body and I will need to provide my correct email address and the correct password is no longer 123, 12345. Okay, so uh, let's try logging in. And we have a successful response. Status is 200. I can switch to headers. And we have authorization header. Okay, so everything is good and, and it's working. And our password reset functionality is functional.